the things you'll see on the multipolar neuron are these sort of look like these little brown structures here synapsing on the cell body. So remember, this is the cell body. These were the dendrites, 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 dendrites coming off of it. But these are telodendria and then synaptic knobs that are coming from some other cell. In fact, if you look at this one right here, the telodendria, this has been sliced open so you can kind of see what's inside. That's a synaptic knob synapsing on this cell. So that makes us the presynaptic cell. And then of course here would be the postsynaptic cell. If we take this one and I show you something a little bit larger, here we are. This is our synaptic knob. So the telodendria would be coming from here. Uh, in green, you'll see the neurotubules. In blue, you'll see the endoplasmic reticulum. There are obviously mitochondria here. And then budding off of this endoplasmic reticulum, we start to see these synaptic vesicles. And these synaptic vesicles, of course, are going to be filled with neurotransmitter. So if we look at these ones that are sliced open, you can see little neurotransmitter molecules inside of them. And what happens here, you can actually imagine it happening here, is there would be a release of neurotransmitters when the signal passes all the way through the length of not just the axon, but all the way down this structure here. So that would be exocytosis, exiting the cell, exocytosis. And what happens is this is now the presynaptic cell. Whatever this is sitting on, it's on the tabletop now, but there'd be a slight little gap there like that. And that exocytosis would happen across the synapse. So this would be the postsynaptic cell, just as we saw here, presynaptic, then postsynaptic. This is the synaptic knob.